This is home for the night, and after racking up about a thousand kilometers of driving in the last five days, it's time to park up and enjoy some downtime. Norway has some of the most beautiful nature in the world, and our plan for the next 24 hours is to immerse ourselves completely in that and essentially camp out. We are in a town called Voss. We made the journey here from Bergen, and our first impressions, we love it. So Voss is a town and it's known for extreme sports. So you can ski and snowboard, you can also do some kayaking on the lake, and you can do some paragliding. Now we are here in March, but ski season is still going on. And even though there's not much snow around, there is still some snow up on the slopes. Okay, so the name of the campsite that we're staying at is Voss Camping and it costs us roughly around 30 euro for the night and included in that price we got access to the toilets, the showers, the kitchen and we also get to hook our van up to electricity and of course the main reason that we booked it was for these beautiful views. So we're surrounded by towering trees, we can see right out into the lake and then we have these typical Norwegian houses that are just nestled in the mountains right next to us. When you close your eyes and you think of Norway, this is exactly what you think of. These camper van trips really, really appeal to us. We've traveled so much over the last three years. You don't even realize how hectic and how fast pace it gets you going from one place to another. And here you're almost forced or probably encouraged is probably the best time to kind of slow down and just be in that place. I think that's why van life appeals to so many people as well. It's just a complete removal from the everyday life that you're used to. So on the menu tonight, some pasta. Probably not the most glamorous of food, but it is the camper life. Okay. Oh. Nice. Fit for a king. You even have a beer holder. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't gonna have a beer, but now that there's a, a holder the in chair the chair. The chair is tempting us. <laughs> So in addition to our pasta, we've also got some garlic bread. Ooh. Oh, like a glove. Look at that. Will I put both of them on? Sure, why not? Picked <laughs> <laughs> it up there and see the monstrosity. <laughs> Lovely burnt garlic bread. Tastes like coal. So traveling through Norway this last few days, we've realized just how expensive it is, especially when it comes to like eating out in restaurants. We haven't always been able to make our own meals on this trip. Uh, so we have seen <laughs> how expensive it is to pay for a meal out in a restaurant. So uh, when we get the opportunity to do this, you can really see uh, the difference in the cost. For example, if you're eating, um, okay, it's not the best food in the world, it's like pasta and garlic bread, it's quite basic, but when you're camping, basic is more than enough. So it's just a really low cost way of living, especially in a country that's so expensive. <sighs> Okay, so as you can see, it's much later now. It's really dark out. Uh, we ended up having a shower after our food because the cold got into our bones. It's really cold out. Uh, so that was lovely, that heated us up. We also popped around to the shop and we picked up some fire logs and some cold beers because there is a fire pit here. So I think it's the perfect time now to light a cozy fire. We're also wrapped up in a bit more layers. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go and light the fire, have a nice beer and enjoy this lovely camping experience. Okay, so we can't camp and not light a fire. That's just, you can't do that. It goes hand in hand, so. Okay. We're cheating it a little bit with these fire lighters that you just light them and they burn for three hours. <laughs> but, 
just in case we do have some mud. So we might have to be a little bit quiet because as you can see there's a lot of camper vans here so we did get talking to the owner of this place and these are winter campers so people actually own them but they don't come all the time so they, they're probably working they might come an odd weekend if they want to ski during ski season we did actually see a couple of people over the far side there and they had all their ski gear so yeah i think we got really lucky the time of year that we're here because he did also tell us this is so popular in the summer that sometimes it gets so busy that they have to turn people away so yeah just to have it like this and sort of to ourselves in a way it's just really nice oh you know what they say fire is company So in our three years of full-time travel, we've actually done a few camper van trips. We did one in Japan, uh, we recently did one in Iceland, and uh, we did a couple of road trips around Ireland as well. And now we're doing it here in Norway. Camping in Norway, Samantha. Man. High five. Checked out the list. <laughs> oh, it's proper blazing now. <laughs> oh, how nice is this? I have to say, do you know what I love about the camper life? It sort of gives you like a gratification reset where all of a sudden like the things that we'd normally take for granted become like sort of a luxury. So for example our van doesn't have a toilet or a shower so when we find a place that has like a hot powerful shower <laughs> we're so happy to have it. <laughs> Definitely makes you appreciate the little things that's for sure. <laughs> Nature is the main attraction to this place. It's lovely. I think we'll definitely come back. But for now, the plan for today is to drive to a place called Stagestein, which is a viewing point. It's about an hour and a half drive. And from what we've read on the internet, we can drive right up to this viewing point and look directly into a fjord. So we're packed up, we have had our coffee. Now it's time to hit the road. But yeah, a little bit sad to be leaving this place. Right, so a little stop off for some breakfast from the back of our camper van. <laughs> so we had to get another coffee, coffee number two. Mm. There's definitely something about the coffee over in Norway. I don't know what it is, but it's so nice. We crave it every day. So we got a nice strong one to wake us up. And to go with it, we have some school bread. So this is like a traditional Norwegian sort of bread and it's delicious. We've had a lot of them actually since we've got here. We're living off them. We are living off them. They're very cheap to get. It's like a soft bread and then in the inside of it you have custards and then the outer layer is topped with some ice and sugar and then some uh, coconut shreddings. There's also like a lemon sort of taste off it. Mm. So, so tasty. Oh my God. As soon as you have your first bite, all the flavors. <laughs> so nice. So the reason behind the name from what I read online is um, school bread. So it's very popular for like kids to bring this type of cake into their bake sales. So uh, yeah, very fancy and nice cake for a bake sale. I remember when I was in school, you'd be sent in with like Rice Krispie cakes. So it'd be basically Rice Krispies with melted chocolate and you leave them to set in the fridge. Very tasty, but uh, yeah, I think I prefer this. <laughs>
left and it's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> we could actually see the snow in the sky, but the further after coming up now, yeah. it's lovely, isn't it's it? Gorgeous. I think we're also the only ones here. The viewing point is just down this way, so we've just parked the car. There's like a little car park to the side. So yeah, we're gonna go and check it out. <laughs> oh my oh god, my. I can't believe there's nobody here. I can't believe there's nobody here. This is incredible. Look at that for a viewpoint. You can walk right out over oh, it. Oh, lads, lads, check this out. <sighs> wow. <laughs> oh, are you ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. Look at this, the fjord down below, the little town down below, and the mountains all around it. The clouds are a little bit low, so they're kind of at the top of the mountain. They're, they're cutting off the top part, but we can see where the fjord goes out in between the cliffs. This is, this is one of the best places I've ever been. This is unbelievable. So if you didn't know, a fjord is like an inlet and it runs in from the sea and it's surrounded by cliffs on three sides of it but we can really see the shape of it from looking like down over it mm. and there's so many of them in Norway as well. There's a few places in the world that have fjords but what I read up, Norway has the most. So the viewing point is basically this is as far as you can go as you can see, it has like a little glass panel there. We're 650 meters above the fjord, so we're quite high up. <laughs> this is also known to be one of the most beautiful viewing points looking over a fjord in Norway. Now I'm sure any of them you visit are going to be stunning, but uh, the landscape in Norway has really just blown us away since we got here. It's, it's just unbelievable. Probably one of the most beautiful countries we've ever come to. Now, we say that a lot because we have been to so many beautiful places. I mean, we're only back from Iceland, but uh, I think, I don't know what it is, the landscape here. In Iceland, it was more flat and it was beautiful. It was like being on another planet, Iceland, but this is just, the landscape here is on another level. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in the world. Yeah, me too. It's unreal. We're looking down at the water here and it's like so still. It looks like it's not even moving. And I did read up online, supposedly you can swim in the fjords and it's like swimming in silk. <laughs> I don't believe it. Look I know. It. it doesn't look real. It looks like it's like a 3D kind of... I don't really know how to describe it. It's just... I think it's with the snow as well. Some of the mountains are sort of hidden. Yeah. And they do... It is giving it like a 3D effect as you're driving yeah, through yeah. it. Amazing. Norway, you're absolutely beautiful. After we left the viewpoint, we had another two hour drive to our next stop, a town called Yilo. Yilo is an alpine mountain town that is truly a winter wonderland. We knew that Yilo would be covered with snow, so we decided this would be the best place to set up camp for the night. Our only issue was the drive was across the massive mountains of this region of Norway, and we didn't have too much daylight left. 
we definitely didn't want to do this drive in the dark. After a few dicey moments, we eventually made it to the town of Yilo. We want to move here. <laughs> Don't we? Yeah. We want to live in Norway. We've seen enough. We're moving to Norway. That's the end of it. <laughs> We're going to live in a little wooden house. A red one. On the mountain. On the mountains. Covered in snow. <laughs> just decided that's what we're going to do. We're going to move to Norway. Uh. We found a campsite, parked the camper and began to make dinner. Pasta again. But as we said earlier, when you're camping in these conditions, everything tastes incredible. And in this setting, it was the perfect way to spend the evening. The next morning, it was sadly time to return our camper van. We had breakfast on the deck and then we eventually hit the road back to Oslo. 